Hi guys, today we're going to talk about <coughs> dividing fractions and mixed numbers and the I can statement we're working on is I can divide fractions and mixed numbers. And before we've just talked about dividing with just fractions, but you'll see dividing with mixed numbers just has that little extra step of turning the mixed number into an improper fraction before you keep it, change it, flip it, and divide or multiply as you normally would. So, we can divide fractions by remembering the following thing, keep it, change it, flip it, which we've talked about in class and in our last um, video. So if I want to take one half and divide it by five, well, five isn't a fraction. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is remember that five has a one uh, under it. So I'm going to um, keep one half, change the division to multiplication, and then I'm going to flip 5 over 1 to make it 1 fifth. Now I have a simple multiplication problem that you're all great at doing. I multiply my numerators, I multiply my denominators, and I would need to simplify if possible. And in this case, it, I don't need to simplify. Now let's look at what happens when I have a mixed number. There's just a little extra step there. I'm still going to keep my first fraction because it's a fraction, it's not a mixed number. I'm going to change my division to multiplication. But before I can flip one and one half, and as we talked about in the last video, to take the reciprocal of a mixed number, I need to turn that mixed number into an improper fraction. So two times one is uh, two, plus one is three, so I get three over two. But, and this is the biggest mistake I see, you cannot forget that one, after you turn it into an improper fraction, you then need to flip it. Now I can multiply as normal. And I, same thing as when I'm multiplying fractions. If I see that there is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator, I can cancel those. So three goes into three once, and three goes into three once here, so now I've simplified it, which will make it easier for me to um, go ahead and multiply. I can also see that four and two have a common factor of two. So two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. And now, I'm, this is making my multiplication problem even simpler. If I didn't do that, I would get 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 3 is 12. But that would need to be simplified to 1 half. Now let's look. If I simplified and did 1 times 1, I would get 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. So I would get 1 half if I simplified, oops, sorry, if I simplified first or if I simplify in the end. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Okay, now it's your turn. Write each quotient in simplest form. In the WSQ, or in the work section, sorry, of your WSQ, I would like to see you change each problem so that there is no mixed number or whole number. So if I were doing number one, I would write two over three divided by one times two is two, plus one is three, three over two. So I'd like to see one, the original problem, two, the original problem without mixed numbers, or in this case, without whole numbers, and then I'd like to see number three, I'd like you to see, to see you keep it, change it, flip it, and then solve. So there are three things I'm looking for before I look at your answer. Pause the video. Complete numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the work section of your WSQ, and don't forget to write a question. We're done with this video. You can go back and watch any portion as many times as you'd like, or the entire video. But don't forget the question at the end.